time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Hello and welcome to Wales, where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales, UK. I'm Clive from Clive 5 Art, and thank you very much for joining me in the studio. As I said in the introduction, thank you very much for walking through the door and joining me on this fantastic lesson today. Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about anxiety and depression as I paint this because I think that's a, a, that's a subject very, very close to my heart. And I know a lot of people out there suffer with anxiety and depression. But um, the main thing is we're going to be focusing on a fantastic swan painting today. I'm working on a 10 by 8 canvas, as you can see. I've taken the liberty of drawing out um, an outline. And um, there's a little bit of tracing paper there, which I'll explain in a minute. But this was the other painting I did um, a while ago. Now. I think it was a few months ago. This was the, the swan number one. And I had so many people asking me, um, can you paint another swan? Can you paint another swan? So I've decided today it's exactly what we are going to do. So let's have a look at the colours. As you can see, I've got some ultramarine blue. I've got some Prussian blue. I've got some raw sienna, Mars black, titanium white. And I've gone to the liberty of making a couple of different oranges. I have used a vermilion and a mid yellow to get my three orange colours there for the beak. I'm using some matte medium mix which is available on the website so just please pop along there and have a look at my products and um, we'll not talk more no more about that today so i'm just going to get a little bit of my medium mix i'm going to get a bit of black there we go just a little bit of black because I, what i want to do is i'm just going to go just very lightly around the outline because i don't want to lose i don't want to lose my outline that I, I've drawn because when you when you're painting with acrylics and we use layers you'll find that sometimes more often than not you're gonna lose your line because we paint over our our drawing and that's where this little thing comes in handy I will explain that in a little bit more detail after I've done the outline of this wonderful little swan there you go and um, there's a lot of swans down a place where um, not far from my home called Ogmore by Sea. And there's a lovely river, the River Ogmore flows through there. It's past a fantastic castle and uh, stepping stones there as well. And um, it's a fun place um, to go down and take the kids for a walk and even the dog for a walk. And as I said, walking away the stress is is another uh, important thing and um, stress has played a big part in my life over the last several years in fact and uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rush this painting today I'm just gonna take my time because I want to talk to you and uh, you've taken the, the time to join me in the studio so not am I gonna talk about painting I'm also gonna be talking a little bit about stress and mainly stress today I think because that's been a big part of my life um, for nearly two years now and um, since the loss of my my dear mother um, and she passed uh, a couple of years ago and it left me um, very very um, stressed and anxious Anxiety is the is, is 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 the thing I think more not so much the stress it was more anxiety than anything. Anyway, I'll, I'll I'll just touch on that subject a little bit more in a second. I'm just gonna let that dry. So I've allowed that to dry now, and um, the reason for this basically um, is that I've taken the liberty of drawing. Um, over my image on the tracing paper so when I come to paint when I come to paint the canvas and I've gone over my lines and I've lost some detail where's the eye gone I don't know where my eye has gone because I've painted over it I'll drop this down like that and there's a little reference for you and then you can either go by eye literally and do this see position or you can just get a little bit of tracing paper or some carbon paper and then you can just 
redraw that on there. So there's a little tip for you. That's going to save you no end of time. Not many people will tell you about that. Not many artists will tell you about that. I'm just going to take that off because I don't want to use that. But um, there you go. There we are. Right, okay. So I think it's important that we start painting this thing. Now that is dried. So I'm just going to get some titanium white. And I'm just going to put some titanium white on the background like this. I'm going to be using a fine mist bottle today. Um, these are available uh, as well in the shop if you want to pop along. And, um, and I just mist down my canvas so I can just keep that paint moist on the surface. Okay, so my um, anxiety started um, two years ago. Three years ago, I think. Two to three years ago. Um, and it wasn't so much the fact that... Um, I had lost my mother. I come to terms with the, the, the grief of my losing my mother very, very quickly. It was the fact that I had all other problems to deal with, like um, sorting out the estate, uh, you know, the will and all this type of stuff and probate and all those things that come as a bit of a shock. And I think it was the, the actually, the anxiety is, is, is different to depression where it's about future events. Depression tends to be sits, tends to sit in the past. Depression sits in the past, and anxiety sits in the future. So anxiety is more about uh, events that are going to happen. So, or even present events that that, that, that are happening, and you don't know the outcome, and you start getting a little bit. Um, anxious then because we all we all wake up every morning we all wake up with anxiety because if we didn't have anxiety we wouldn't wake up and um it's it's, it's a feeling that's been with us for millions of years ever since we were cave men or cave women or cave people to be politically correct and um you know we either we either fight or we flight that's what they say fight or flight in other words you either hit it head on or you can run away so if you've got a woolly mammoth chasing you or a, a big saber-toothed tiger, you can either stand and fight with your spear or you can just go and run. And that's, that's, that's primal instinct. And that, that follows us right from those days. I'm going to pick up a little bit of ultramarine blue now. And I'm just going to very lightly put this blue in on top of that white because that white is still wet. You can see where that tracing paper could come in handy because I'm actually painting over my my swan. But I want to make this nice and light today. There we are. Nice and light. Have a bit of that white showing through on that canvas. There we go. Lovely. Let's get that flecky type of look. Like that. So fight or flight, yes. Because we, we wouldn't get out of bed in the morning if we didn't have a bit of fight or flight. People deal with anxiety in so many different ways and um, what worked for me is not necessarily what works for what would work for other people like yourself but um, all I can do is talk from p personal experience because that's the only thing I've got to to go on so mindfulness um, we all heard about mindfulness we've all heard about meditation techniques and and stuff like that and it's, it's not all about it's not all about sitting there with little symbols and um, these um, um, bowls that ring boom like that it's not all about you know sitting there going um because all these things work but they don't work for everybody so what you need to do is you need to take time out of your day now my day normally starts and I still, I still carry on with this practice. My, nay, my day normally starts with me waking up in the morning. My alarm's gone off. And like everybody else, I don't want to get out of bed in the morning. But I know i got to because we've all got to eat. We've all got to work. We've all got to do jobs. And all, we've all got to do things that we don't really want to do. So I lie there and I take a few minutes, a few minutes to say to myself, no matter what the day brings today, I'm going to deal with it head on. And if there's problems that I can't deal with, then I'm not going to worry about them. And I will worry about them 
when I can deal with them. I also say to myself that any stress that comes onto my shoulders today, anything that's come to me today, I'm just going to let it flow through me. I'm just going to let it flow through me and it's going to flow through me to a place when it can do me no harm. Because we all get negative. We all get negative people and negative things that are happening to us. And if you've got that mindset, and that's what it's about. It's not about, it's not about um, what the greater power or anything like that. The only, the only greater power that we've got um, as far as our, our, our own stress and anxiety is concerned is it, it, what's, what's up here. We are what we think. We are what we think. We will be what we think. It's very similar to when we paint. What I want, what I want to bring to you today is just my observations of life, and just my observations of the way I've dealt with anxiety. Now, my painting doesn't start when I put my first paint stroke onto the canvas. My painting starts when I think about what I'm going to be painting. My painting starts when I put the colours and I select the colours on my palette. It's also a reflection on what you were painting, is what your mindset is. Today I'm painting a swan and it's cold and it's been it's been a it's been a cold more couple of mornings and um, I'm not feeling blue or down or nothing like that. It's just just happens to represent the mood of the last couple of days, which has been cold. There's many moods associated to all different types of colours. I use a little bit of Prussian blue. There we are, a little bit of Prussian blue on top of that. I want to get some shadow in. With all different colours. But in my experience, I just paint how I feel, and my, my paintings represent how I feel. Don't ever say that you can't do something. We can all achieve anything. We, if we put our minds to something, we are very, 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 very powerful creatures with our, with our minds. Have you, ever, have you ever decided that we wanted to save some money for that particular holiday, and or you, you needed to buy presents for your children, and you don't know how you're going to do it, but you were determined you're going to get it done, no matter what. But you always find a way. Always find a way. And if you've got the right mindset, then things will just work for you. Some people, some people, pray and ask God for help and intervention. And if that's what works, that's great. Again, it's belief. Belief is a wonderful, powerful thing that we've got. And I do truly believe that if we want something enough, it will happen. Allowing things to naturally occur without the... Um, the worry of what's going to happen. Because at the end of the day, how many people, have you, have you ever done this? Have you ever thought that it's going to, you know, if that happens now, it's going to be the worst thing ever? And it never is. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it isn't. We don't know. We can't predict the future. That's what, that's what, that's what anxiety is. And that's how what I've come to accept that whatever the day brings, whatever the day brings, I will deal with it. And I will not allow myself to get stressed over it or anxious over it. I cannot help and I can't predict what the future events are going to be. I can influence the future by my actions. I can influence the future by my actions. I can't prevent events happening. We just need to deal with them at the time. Okay, enough of that for the moment because Life does tend to waffle a bit. <laughs> I do, I do waffle, I do. But I think it's important that we, I, I class you all as a family. 
I invite you into my studio to, to paint with me. I don't, I try not to, I try not to teach you. I try not to teach you things. I try to show you things. It's a big difference between teaching you something and putting my particular ideas and techniques onto an individual and actually sitting there and talking to you and allowing you to use what you see, use what you hear in your daily life and if I can help you along the way that's done my job that's all I want out of this is the ability to get people to paint because I find painting is very 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 healing okay I'm gonna get a bit of Prussian blue and I'm just gonna put some shadows just around head there like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring some shadows down the neckline there like that. Now this is called a blocking out stage. This is where we develop the painting and before I do any painting I always think about the painting. I always think what am I gonna do with this? And I paint the painting in my mind. And I will sit there and I put a, what I do, what I do in the studio is I burn some incense sticks and I've got, I've got a drawer full, I've got a drawer full of incense sticks here and there's, these are relatively cheap. I've got, um, what's this one? I got musk, I've got jasmine, I've got patchouli, I've got lavender, I've got sage and I got all uh, uh, and a vast a vast array of others. Yes, I, I do I do burn a lot of I do burn a lot of um, incense sticks. When you paint, this is your space. Get yourself your favourite little tipple. It could be a lovely cup of coffee. It could be some cocoa. It could be um, a hot chocolate. It could be a cup of tea. It could be a cup of coffee, whatever, 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 whatever you like. Bring that into the studio. Put some nice relaxing music on that you find relaxing. Find some music that you find relaxing. It could be meditation music or it could be a Tchaikovsky, it could be Mozart, it could be Elvis Presley. It doesn't matter what the music is as long as it makes you happy. Meditation is not about what people tell you to do it's about what makes you happy it's about what gives you space it's what relaxes your mind and your tension we all tense everybody's so tense these days it's, it's the world we live in which is which is quite a shame that we we live in this world where we, everybody is so tense and uptight and you can't even drive a car these days without somebody beeping their horn at you Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> really does annoy me. Again, I really does annoy me. It does annoy me. But I understand. I understand why people do that. I forgive them. They've had a bad day. They've got things going on in their lives. Everybody's got things going on in their lives. We live in micro worlds. Our worlds are micro, micro worlds. They really are. In the UK, I would say that most people live in a world of about 20 to 30 mile radius. Maybe in the USA or other countries, it may be a bit bigger because it, the countries are vaster than ours. But I would say my life revolves in a 30 mile radius. I don't work far from home. Um, I shop no more. I go food shopping, about, it's about 15 mile away. Everything I do is, is in with about a 20, 20, 20 to 5 mile radius, I would say. So, it's looking nice. I think it's come in. I think we get in a bit of shaping. You can see the way I'm building up the shape and form and just allowing the painting to, to work for me. Which is nice. That's all we want. We're not going to be. 
you're not going to be painting masterpieces, great masterpieces. If you try to paint a masterpiece, you will never paint a masterpiece. If you just sit there and relax and joy um, and, and be joyful in your mind and just allow the paint to flow and don't stress about it. If your swan ends up looking like an elephant, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's not about that, is it? It's about it's about the enjoyment you've had creating that. You can always do better next time. There's always tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. So why rush? And why panic? And why get stressed? Why get anxious about the end of the painting when you haven't even started the middle part of the painting yet? We all worry about how is it going to look? How is it going to look? We don't consider that the fact that we can't see the end of the painting. We just allow the painting to grow. And allowing our painting to grow and develop is the way to do it. I want to put a bit more colour just into the background there. It's a nice cold blue type of background today. Let's just get more, a bit more white into that. There we are. Just build it up. If you make a mistake, it doesn't matter. There you go. If you make a mistake, it doesn't matter. Burn your incense sticks. Get your favourite bit of music on. Get your favourite drink. Come into the studio. Tell your husband or your wife or your partner. I'm just going to go and do a bit of painting. I'm just going to do a bit of therapy. Don't ever say you're going to paint. To say, I'm going for a bit of meditation. I'm going to, I am going to have a bit of therapy. I need to chill out. And just grab your paintbrush and, and paint. And if you're looking through some reference photographs, paint whatever makes you feel happy. If you, but you, you go, oh, no, I don't like that. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'll have a go at that. I can try. I will try to do that. And I will paint it, and we'll see what happens at the end of it. We'll see what happens. How is it going to look? We don't know. We don't know. Don't worry about skill levels. Don't worry about, you know, as I said, don't worry about the finished thing, painting. Just worry about enjoying yourself. Because that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. It really is. Okay, I waffled enough. I'm just going to dry that off and um, we'll do a little bit more work uh, and put some colour in this lovely creature that's a swan. Looking good. Looking good. I'm quite happy with this so far. I've got a bit of um, raw sienna. There you go. Let's put a little bit of raw sienna. I'm going to pick up. Where's my stick? There you go. I got a, I got a cork on a stick. There we are. Very, 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 very useful thing is a cork on a stick. So I'm just going to put some raw sienna. It's very, very transparent. Raw sienna is very, very transparent. But we put a bit of raw sienna in. Because we want to put a bit of colour. We need a bit of warmth in this painting. Because it's blue and it's so cold. There you go. What helped me was I was um, taking 10 minutes out of my, my day and there's plenty of apps out there that that will um, allow you to play some medication music. Medication music. <laughs> well, if you, want medi if you want music, take in your tablets. Medication music is the way to go. <laughs> but if you want music to relax, meditation music is the way to go. <laughs> Always have a smile on your face. The other thing I'd like to share with you is that I've had some really, really nasty people in my life. Um, they say hurtful things and they've done some hurtful things to my mum over the years and things like this. And 
And the hardest thing to do sometimes is to forgive these people for their indiscretions and the things they have done. And I don't mean I don't mean forgive them in a way that you know what they've done is forgotten. I don't mean that. Something happened um, with members of my family um, and the way they they treated my 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 dear mum, which was which was despicable, really. And what I have had to do is forgive them for that, because Mam's not with me now, and what how they hurt her is was the fact that mom's not with us she's at rest she's at peace and the only people the only people now or the only person now they are hurting is the people that are left behind with the memories of what they had done so in order for me to deal with my anxiety and depression that i've been feeling for the last few years is what I had to do is forgive them or forgive myself for feeling in the way I did about them not so much forgive them for what they did but I had to do that because what I'd done it allowed me to move on and see these people for what they are and what they were and if, if that's the situation you find yourself in then you might find it gives you a little bit of peace as well because my mum wouldn't want me to be unhappy and upset about things that happened to mum now she's at rest and she's happy and she's with my dad and, and everything she wouldn't want that for me so I shouldn't allow myself to feel that way. So I, I, I forgive them. I forgive them. I forgive them. And I forgive myself for, for allowing myself to feel that way. And it's helped me move on. Now that's me personally. That's a personal thing. But if it if that's helped you a little bit, then I've done my job. But it's just I'm I, I talk from the heart. Nothing that I do on these lessons is scripted. Um, and I know a lot of YouTubers um, do that. I know a lot of YouTubers actually script what they're going to say. But personally, I don't do that. What you see is what you get with Play 5 Art. And as I said, I don't script anything. I talk from the heart. I don't know what I'm going to talk about during the lesson. I've got an idea what I'm going to discuss with you, like today about stress and stuff. I don't know what I'm, what I'm going to say. It just happens. And I think that's wonderful. I think the ability to to share that with others is 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 so good. I really, I really do like that you listen to me. Anyway, let's get back to the painting for now. So I'm working on the on the beak area. This has been a bit of a different lesson today. Not so much about, not so much about painting, Clive. It's more about, be more about talking about these different subjects, which I think is is meaningful to a lot of people, and and I know it's meaningful to a lot of people because I get so many comments and emails, and you've helped me so much get through this, and you've helped me recover from a stroke or a heart attack or. I get so much enjoyment listening to you just talking. It's not so much about painting. And let's be honest, if we all give people a little bit of time, if we all spent a little bit of effort just to encourage somebody sometimes, God, how much difference would that make in somebody's life if you just said, that is a wonderful job. I have showed my paintings to some people and they've gone well I don't like that that's not right that that's a little bit out of proportion and um, I don't expect to be praised for things 
it's just nice to have a little bit of you've done a wonderful job there it's absolutely lovely you know especially when somebody is beginning if, if you're a beginner artist and you know what you want is encouragement what you want is is that encouragement from people you don't want people to keep knocking you down and and, and you know you've got to keep picking yourself up and and you, and you you approach a painting and you think i got to do a good job this time i've really got to do a good job because i didn't have that i didn't get that quite right last time i didn't get that quite right and i don't want that to happen again and you start getting all uptight and you start getting stressed and you start worrying about your your previous painting and that causes you to get depressed and oh i'm not doing this anymore i've had enough and you throw the brush down and and you and you, and you, you don't you don't pick up your brush again why should somebody spoil why should somebody spoil your enjoyment your relaxation you wouldn't go if they were if they went to the gym once a week to keep fit you wouldn't go into the gym and say ah oh, we doing them squat thrusts wrong why are you picking that up that weight for you should be picking up heavier weights than that look at the fat on your body would they like that no so what gives them the right to say it to you they're entitled to their opinion but never take anything to heart don't take it to heart if you were painting to relax and you were painting just for enjoyment then does it matter does it matter i don't think it does i don't think it does okay so i'm going to pick up some titanium white and i'm just going to put a bit of white just pure pure titanium white In little lines like this, not exactly painting it as such, and there's little lines like this. So Clive has been talking a lot today, and I'm talking about myself in the third tense because it helps. It helps. Some people would say that I'm mad. Well, I don't care. To be honest, the people can say what they like. I'm happy. As long as I'm happy, that's fine. There's too many miserable people in this world. <laughs> Me! Way too many miserable people. Way. Way too many miserable people in this world. There really is. We don't like miserable people. We like positive people. We like, we like to reinforce our minds with positivity. And we can. We will. We shall. You know. You will not put me down today. You will not. I will not accept, I will not accept that. I can paint this painting. I will succeed. If it takes me seven attempts, I will succeed. Suc failure is just that you haven't succeeded yet. Remember that. Failure is because you haven't succeeded yet. It's not a big thing. That's why we're all walking and not crawling. Because we fell down so many times when we were children. It really is. Think about it. I mean, your mother and father, and we've done it as grandparents and parents. Come on, come on, take that step. Come on, you can do it. You c Yay, he took his first step. She took his first step. Yay. I suppose, do we get that much in our lives after that? Hmm. There's a thing, there's a think. There's something to think about. Something to think about. <laughs> something to think about, isn't it? It is. I'm just going to get a brush. And I just want to put some very light lines in. Like this. Because I don't want it to... Intense. I want to keep that shadow in place there. There you go. Again, I'm going to use the same technique and I'm just going to do a bit on this wing. The swans are white. We repainted the swan white on the white canvas. It would disappear. So we need to use a little bit of colour 
underneath this one just to get him to maybe come to life like that. Just remember you can do anything you want. You can paint. It, people do not want you to succeed. People are jealous. Some people are very jealous. Some people can be jealous. You could paint the best painting, you could paint the Mona Lisa, and some people could be really jealous of you and say, that's, that's terrible, look at the mouth. And if Leonardo da Vinci actually had that comment. Hey Leonardo, you've done a crack in painting, but you know, the look on that face is a little bit off. <laughs> I wonder if anybody said that. Did he mind? No, I don't think he did. We always strive to create the best paintings that we can possibly create. And some of the best paintings we create are some of the paintings that just happen. Just happen. There you go. There you do. Let's get some. I want a bit of blue into this. There we are. Some paintings just happen. taking time out of your day and just sat in total silence and just allow yourself to reflect on the day because if we do that sometimes things are better, don't they? Do you agree? What I'm going to do, I'm doing an experiment now. I'm not going to play any music. Maybe a little bit. I'll put a little bit of music on in the background just to soothe away that stressful feeling. And I'm not going to talk for five minutes. And just watch me paint and listen to a bit of music and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to be using titanium white and I'm just going to be flicking up at this and getting some shape into this one swan's neck like this we might have to put another layer on this in a minute but I find it difficult to stop talking sometimes. <laughs> I really do.
So I'm just changing over to a, a detail brush. I just want to get a nice bit of highlight. It's on the top of the head there like that. What I'm going to have to do, I think, is just allow that to dry. There you go. I tell you, what has also helped is I eat about um, two to three kiwi fruits a week and um, I could eat more I could eat more but they packed were full of antioxidants and um, serotonin in 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 kiwi fruits as well so I so I've researched you know and um, it's helped having fruit it's helped having fruit and plenty of fruit in my diet and um, goji berries and I've, I've added all this into my diet because all these antioxidants and natural occurring like serotonin and stuff like that will help everything everything will help everything helps as long as it's helping you then it's fine change your diet just change your diet too much sugar, too much fat in the diet. And I'm not preaching you. If you want to eat fat and sugar, then you carry on. That's fine. But it does help to lower the fat and, and sugars in your diet and be a little bit healthier. It certainly does help the, the, the recovery of anxiety and depression, I find. In personal experience, I'm talking about now. In personal experience, I have found that just a change of diet has helped and, and don't forget don't get me wrong I like the McDonald's and I like the I like all those type of foods and I like my chips and my eggs and my sausages and oh yum 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 and my stomach is rumbling just thinking about it actually but everything in moderation you can have anything you want as long as it's in moderation. It's when we decide to go beyond that and just think. I used to, <laughs> we used to sit there and watch a telly, and Jane would get up. She said, Oh, I just got to go to the toilet a minute, love. And I went, Yeah, okay. Can you um, do me a favor? What's that? Can you give me a packet of crisps and a bit of cheese? Or can you bring me that pork pie or that scotch egg? And and this is like at nine o'clock or ten o'clock at night, and and that's what we used to do. So a little, my wife says, oh, the little, there's always a little pile of stuff by the side of the, the, your seat um, when we watch Intel. There's always a little bit of pile of stuff there, Clive. You were munching well last night, <laughs> and I've had to stop that now because I put a little bit of weight on, and. Um, I, I went went to, uh, to to lose weight on a diet and the side effect the side effect of me losing weight worked out that it was helping my anxiety and I was quite shocked because the less salt and sugars I ate the better I was feeling the less carbs I was eating the better I was feeling but it doesn't always work it doesn't work for everybody I wouldn't say it does some everybody is different we're all we're all human beings we're all we're all different things different wants and different needs but again as i said i'm just talking from the heart and i'm just saying what works for me there you go he's looking nice i think he's looking nice he's looking nice to have a bit of fun just enjoy your painting. This is your time 
This is your space. Don't let anybody disturb you. And if somebody does come in, say, Hello, hello, whatever, whatever your name is. Would you like a coffee? And something. Don't go, oh, leave me alone. Don't disturb me. Just say, yes, please. I wouldn't mind. Yes, that would be nice. Thank you very much for thinking about me. That's really nice. Thank you very much for thinking about me. That's really nice. There you go. So let's get, let's get, um, let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's get some orange. Nice dark orange. Vermilion and mid red. Makes a lovely orange. Makes a lovely orange. Get into that mid yellow, that mid orange that I made now. Just slightly lighter. I'm bringing that in. Swans are protected by the Queen in the UK. Not allowed to kill a swan. Not allowed to kill any birds, actually. Not really. You sweet swans in medieval days. It's a bit of a delicacy, as they say. But I think they're really wonderful, majestic looking birds. And as you can see that this is, the beak is going to be warming up this. Lovely now. I'm just going to put another layer on top of that in a minute. But for now, I'm just going to put a lighter orange. looking nice. Allowing that to dry. Very good. Very good. Very, very small detail brush. Hope you've enjoyed your time in the studio with me today. It's, it's really nice to share my, my time, my time, my Clive's time, this is Clive's time in here, this is, this is, going painting tonight Jane, I'm, Clive's having some, some time tonight, Clive's going to be painting, let's get a bit of a raw sienna, just down there like that, maybe a bit of white, just a spot of white, just a spot of white, just a, Oops, let's take a bit off my brush. Like that. I'm just going to draw a very light, very, very thin line up. Like that. And I'm just going to drag down. There, there. Deep breaths. Breathe in. That's what you need. This is why painting is so relaxing. This is why painting is so healing. Because you're controlling your breathing and allowing it to Oh, that was a little tip for you. <laughs> Let's get his little spot in his eye there. And there you go. How's that? It looks okay, does it? Does, it look okay? does that look okay? Well, I don't really mind, to be honest. I'm happy. I'm happy. Sometimes, don't ever use your fingers, but sometimes you've got to. Sometimes you've got to. I still dry. I still wet. I mean, it's not dry enough, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to dry that with a hairdryer. I think I really am. 
Anyway, before we do that, let's just wash my brush. Where's my little brush? This is a, such a fine little tiny brush. Let's put some... I'm trying to get some water droplets coming off him. Because he's just put his beak in the water to, to get some plants or whatever he... He's eating, there we are. Little drips of water off his beak. Um, what I'm going to do now, one very, very quickly, is just dry that with a hairdryer. That was quick. That was so quick. I, I, I frightened myself. That was that quick. <laughs> Long angle brush now. I'm just gonna touch up a little bit of detail. There you go. I'm gonna make that just a little bit more. Are looking good, looking good. I quite like that. Wash the brush, wash the brush. Get some orange that we made up. Lovely beaks, they got lovely beaks, these, these birds. some light orange on the tip of the brush mm -hmm. you get to a certain age you start to happen dum -de -dum -de -dum. you get to a certain age you become invisible to people I could walk down the street with... I could walk down the street in my underpants. I don't think anybody would notice. Because I'm at that age, they think, oh, it's just... It's a wacky old chap up there that makes videos, look. <laughs> I think he looks nice. I think what I'm going to do... I'm just going to play a little bit. I'm just going to. I'm just going to make this a little bit more prominent. I think. That looks better. Just that it was just a little bit out, but that's fine, you know. There you go. So as I put the final brush strokes on, I want to thank you very much for joining me in the studio, painting away the stress of everyday life and listening to this old Welshman waffle as he does. And I'd like to ask you to subscribe, please, to the channel. And there's a subscription button down below. And um, if you like this video, then please um, give me a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment. Please leave a comment. There you go. I'm quite happy with that result. I really am. So thank you very much. Please click the subscription button down below. Um, opposite, there's um, a video that's going to pop up um, that's relevant. So click on that. Also, down by there, there's a button for my Patreon. If you want to pop along for as little as a dollar a month, you can support me to help me as in the studio. Or you can pop along to the shop and have a look at the products. Uh, but from me and this wonderful majestic swan, thank you very much. And um, keep up the good work. And I'll see you next time. Bye.